Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll show you how to turn the website from this into this. Let's get started. All right, to automatically fetch all of the videos from my YouTube channel, and I don't have to manually add them one by one once I release a new video. First, we need to have the YouTube API key, and I'll show you how to do that. Also, we need to have a plugin to do that as well. So now let's just go to the dashboard of the WordPress, and I'm going to install a plugin to do that. So here inside this, we just need to select the add new plugin. I can just search for the word YouTube. Okay, so there are tons of this plugin as you can see, but I'm going to go with the one which is this one right here, the video gallery YouTube playlist channel gallery by YouTube WP. This is quite popular. Uh, as you can see right here based on the rating and as you can see I have already uh, installed and click on the activate button as well so now let's just quickly go to this uh, plugin right here so here inside the YouTube WP settings we have the general tab right now we just leave this as it is also with uh, the player styling effects the cage and we will look into that after we have already generated the API key and also have my YouTube channel display on that and then we can try to look into the configuration of this. So next we have the API and we can just follow this uh, guide right here to get our own YouTube API key. So before we gonna follow the guide here to do that uh, step by step we can just go back right here and then just click on the uh, short code generator to know why do we need to have the uh, YouTube API key. Okay, so as you can see that we require to enter the YouTube API key from the setting page to be able to use this feature. Otherwise, if you're gonna not going to have the API key, then it means that um, you cannot fetch all of the video coming from your um, YouTube channel or it can be that you cannot enter it manually one by one. So now we need to uh, click on the API key again and now let's just have a quick look. This is the step one, step two up until uh, the last step to get the API key and I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now let's just head over to the cloud.google.com. Now let's just click on this uh, console button, you will need to also sign in into your Google account as well. So click on this console. Alright, so now once I'm in, you can see that it pre-selected my Hongli tag and I can actually try to use this existing uh, projects to do all of the API key as well. But then for the demonstration, I'm going to start from scratch, uh, try to create a new uh, account. So now I can just click on this new project to create a new project but also um, we will need to come back to this uh, right here to get the uh, IP address but now let's just uh, go here first I'm gonna give my project uh, a name uh, in this case I'm going to call Hongli tagged uh, right here I just use uh, YouTube like that and just click on this create button. Okay, now then you can just switch to Hongli Tech YouTube. And here we have created a new project. Now let, let's try to navigate to the API and services. So we can just click on the second one, the library. And now we can just search for the word YouTube. So here we have uh, four of this, but we're going to go with the first one, uh, YouTube Data API V3, stand for version 3. Now we can just click on the Enable button. 
Okay, so now we need to create a new credential. Make sure that you don't click on this one because this is a different one. And just click on this credentials. Now click on the link here and try to create a new API key from this. So right here, this is our uh, own API key. Now let's just click on this button, restrict key. All right, so here we can just scroll down a little bit and select this one here, the IP address. So once you have that, you need to create a new item right here. And I need to also get my IP address from uh, basically this one here, honglitech.com. So now I need to sign in into the new projects, uh, which is the different one here. I can now just come to this one, the page here, and then go to the network services, click on the cloud DNS. All right, so now let's just click on the Hongli tag right here. So now I can just copy this IP address, this one here, and I switch back to my new project. Again, this is because for the demonstration, otherwise you can just create all of your API, YouTube API key right here in your existing projects. So now let me just switch back to my new projects. As you can see, once I switch, there's nothing in this ENS zone because it's a newly created project. Now let's just go to the API and services. Again, click on the credentials. All right, so here I can just click on this edit button. Again, coming here, select the IP addresses. Add new item. And I can just paste my IP address right here. Click on done and also select the restrict here as well. So click on this, there are a list of API. So you can also type the word YouTube or you can just scroll to the bottom of the page and select this one here. So once that's done, you can just click on the sale button. All right, so now we have our own API key for YouTube. So I'll just click on this to copy the API key. And now let's just go back and paste your API key here. Click on the cell changes. All right, now that we have this um, API key enter, we can just click on this to see what happened now. As you can see that uh, we have the API key enter and this is the screen where we see. Now I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and try to uh, paste my YouTube channel link right here. All right, I'm going to copy my link here on top the front bit. Go back and then paste it here. Click on the word five. So here you can see that my YouTube channel actually shown here. And now what I need to do, I can just copy this short code and paste it into my page. And now let's just try to go to the page, see all pages. So here, this is all of the existing um, pages. I'm going to create a new one. And you can see that this is a home. Uh, it is in a draft using the Elementor. But I'm going to create a new one. So I can just give this uh, page a name, say home. But uh, we might need to delete this. You know, uh, you will see why in a minute. Now I just paste my short code right here and click on the publish button. All right, so I can just click on the view page right now. Here it is. So as you can see, it's automatically fetched all of my YouTube channel. And this is my latest uh, video on my YouTube. So once I'm going to upload a new one, then it will just change this to something else, which is the latest one. So here, when I hover on that, you can also see that there's like a button that we can just click subscribe from this. Uh, right here and we have all of this YouTube video and uh, I can also click on this as well to go to the next button to see others uh, video on here and 
the thing with this is that right now we don't want to have this sidebar i want to get rid of this and i also want to get rid of this uh, home and sample page as well i don't need this at all it's not gonna look good and also here you can see the footer uh, it says the power by Arthra WordPress themes. I also want to change this one here as well. Okay, so now to do that, I need to go to customize this. Click on the customize. Okay, so here we can just click on the sidebar. Uh, by default, um, it's going to show the sidebar, but I don't actually want to have the sidebar. So I can just click on this to hide all of the sidebars. So here, this is what it looks like right now. And it can also apply to the blog post as well. So I'm going to do that for all. And this is for the archive. Again, the same as this. So for the default one, I just choose all of these to have the no sidebar. Now let's just go back and uh, for the global, you can see that um, there's something around here with the uh, gray color. I don't actually want this too, so I can just hide this. So here in the container, I can just select the, so here under the layout, I can just do the full width and contain slash contain. So here you can see that it's now become like full screen. And for this one here, this is the scratch, but it's not looking that good. So there will be no margin at all. So here you can see there's no margin. So I'm going to go with the third option. And along for all of the page layout, I'll do the same. I love this. So now I can just click on the publish button. All right. So now I'm going to go back and try to see the home. You can see that uh, we have the home header here. So I want to hide this. To do that, again, just go back to the uh, dashboard. And here, the all pages. I'm going to go to these pages right here. So what I need to do, I can just delete this. No title for this page. Select this. And then I can just click on this to view the page. And here we go. This is what it looks like right now. Okay, so I want to also get rid of the menu right here. So you can see when I click on this, it will just go to the page, uh, the home page here, same as that one. So now um, to hide the menu, click on the customize. Let me scroll down, select the menu right here view our menu we don't have menu at all right now so i can just click on create a new menu right here i can just give a name just says menu and the primary menu primary menu is the one on top and the footer which is the one on the bottom of the page so just click on the next button and here you will see that it will just hide basically right now we create a new menu but then there's no item inside here so that's a reason why we see nothing right here so now um, that's how we hide the menu I'm going to click on the publish eventually we will have like a new uh, tab right here but we'll see what's gonna be okay so um, now let's just go back and then what we need to do next as I said we will need to uh, remove this footer right here to do that just click on this and we need to go to the dashboard to install a new plugin. All right, navigate to the plugin, add new. And here I can just search for footer. So there are quite a few of this, and this is the one that we will use. Install now the footer, remove footer credit. Click on activate button. Plugin activated. Now tool click 
click on this here and we need to enter the HTML or the text to remove uh, one per line so now let's just go back to the website okay so when I go to the link here you can see that this is our home page and you can see that there is no uh, YouTube video on this page at all and I will also show you how to do that uh, how to add the page that we just created to be the home page but now uh, let's just here right click on this and we just click on the views uh, page source to get the um, I'm going to search for says power by so here this is the link that we need we can also just click or uh, select this part right here I just want to say remove this part power by uh, Arthur WordPress themes now let's just copy this part and here I'm going to paste it and enter your own credit right here I can just say something like um, all right reserve so say all right reserve and then click on this save button all right so now let me just uh, refresh this page real quick So here you can see that we can successfully change, but uh, it's not something that we need. Uh, you can see it goes to the next line. So what I need to do again, let me try to remove everything so that we can just get the original code. Click on the sale button. Okay, so we now get back to normal one. And the same as this, I'm going to again search for the word power by. This time I'm going to copy everything. So right here, start from the copyright up until this part right here. Just copy that and then go here, paste it, the whole thing. And right now for this one here, so let me just copy this part, the front bit and paste it here. And here I can just say again, all right reserve but uh, there might be some issue I'm going to show you why now let's just click on the sale button first okay now let's just refresh this so here it is we can see that we successfully change but the margin here is not looking um, as the one that we had previously so now let me just click on this text you can see that there's like a span with the class here so that's a reason why it's showing a little bit weird with the margin so I just remove that also with this P tag I don't want at all so here it is we have the copyright 2020 Hongli tag all right reserve oh with this one too okay so click save again cool let me just do a refresh and here it is we have successfully changed the footer okay so for the next one i'm going to make this page that we just created to become the home page so i'm going to change this all right so here we are uh, we can just click on the home page setting and this is the latest post uh, change that to static page now I can just click on select one which is this one the home page we created without the title so this is the one alright click on the publish close this and here it is we have successfully changed everything um, fetching all of the video from the YouTube and we have changed this uh, footer as well and we make this to become our home page so let me just uh, open this in the cognito window to see what it look like all right guys so here you can see this is what we have right now it's look very clean uh, i can just click this to basically um, try to do that and now the one last step is to try to config a little bit uh, the for the plugin so let's just go back again go to the dashboard all right coming back here click on the general settings 
and for the general tab we can just change the column to three or four or more here and video per page 12 um, I want to go to the here so basically you can just click on the pop-up as well so I'm gonna do like a quick demo for you just click on this and then let me open this in a new tab so say I'm going to click on this there will be like a pop-up to view this and I can just watch this directly from my website here only tagged okay so I'm gonna change this back to the large this is the one I prefer after refreshing the page so say again this one click on this it will just play it on top here I can just put it into like full screen now let's just go back to the styling and I can just change this to uh, anything I want along with the video thumbnail should be fine the effects I want to change the effects but when I click on this it's look like uh, the video like pop up a little bit but I prefer the one with this floating so just change this all right so here when i hover on that you can see there's like a little bit of floating animation here so this make it a little bit better and next one is the cage uh, feature so what it does is that it try to reduce the time for loading video and it gives the best experience for the reader or for my basically for uh, the viewer so um, i can just click on uh, this to enable and then the timeout here I just set it to once daily so say uh, I'm going to save this one first and now once I have this uh, option enable the feature enable I can just come here when I try to refresh it's right now everything is that a, a page already uh, refreshed or loaded it will try to store all of the uh, cache data into the browser itself so next time when you come here again and try to refresh this page it load a lot faster and it will try to kill or try to uh, do the here the uh, remove the cache once uh, per day so um, this is just to give like a better experience in terms of like page loading when you come here you don't need to wait uh, to have it like fetch everything coming from the uh, YouTube API uh, to see all of the video here so here we have uh, turned this I wouldn't say it's ugly but it's just like so messy when, when you see this so we turn this uh, simple page to this one right here so that's how we turn this uh, page into this and that's pretty much it for this tutorial hope you like this video and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below until then see you guys in the next video